Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we shall be talking about the laws of indices. Now, indices is the plural of index. It is used to write the product of numbers very compactly. In today's video, I shall be stating a number of laws which can be used to simplify expressions involving indices. We shall be starting with the first law, which is called multiplication law. Now it states that um, if we have um, two terms or numbers of the same base and we have to multiply them, now a is the base while two and three are the powers or the indexes now it states that for us to multiply this what do we do we have to multiply a into two which is a times a times a times a times a so a times a is a squared times a is a to a three times a is a to the power 4 times a is a to the power 5 so a squared times a to the power 3 is equal to a to the power 5 now this can also be written as a to the power 2 times a to the power 3 equal to a to the power 2 plus 3 this is same as a to the power 5. From this, we can derive the multiplication law for indices, which states that a to the power x times a to the power y is equal to a to the power x plus y. This is the law of multiplication when it comes to indexes and this law only works when you have same base when you have same base so in other words we are saying that when you are multiplying two terms of the same base all we do to get our answer is to add the power which is x plus y the next law is called the division law for instance i have a to the power 5 divided by a to the power 2 what do we do is equal to a times a times a times a times a divided by a to the power 2 which is a times a now for us to evaluate this we multiply this a by this a this a by this a so we are left with a times a times a which is a to the power three from this we can in other words we are saying that a to the power five over a to the power two is same thing as saying a to the power 5 divided by a to the power 2 which gives us a equal to 5 minus 2 from this we can derive our division law for indices so in general division law is written as if i have a to the power x over a to the power y it is written as a to the power x minus y in other words for division when we have the same base we subtract the powers that is why you are seeing this here so for multiplication we add the powers why for division we we subtract the powers and this only works when we have 
same base or same numbers. Next, we look at the power in a bracket law. Look at this. For example, we are giving this a to the power 2, bracket open and close to the power 3. Now, what we do here is to, in math, we are to multiply a to the power 2 three times, which gives us a squared, which is 1, times a squared 2, times a squared 3. Now, a squared times a squared is a to the power 4. a, which is times a squared, is a to the power 6. If you remember in law 1, when you have a times, it becomes what? A plus, which is 2 plus 2 plus 2 gives us 6. In other words, a to the power 2, bracket open and close, to the power 3 is same thing as saying a raised to the power 2 times 3. Now, in indexes, so in general power in a bracket is written as a to the power x, bracket open and close to the power y is written as a x times y. So when giving a question in this format, we multiply the power outside by the power inside the bracket. This is the power in a bracket law of indexes. All right, we move to a next law, which is called the negative index law. In this case, we have a base, and a power but now the power is negative how do we evaluate this question the first thing we do is that this negative sign becomes 1 over that is it then the base becomes raised to a positive power all right so I come again the first thing we do here is that is to eliminate this negative sign is same as saying 1 over a to a positive x. Alright, so this is the negative index law. This comes to be written as this. If I have this 1 over a to the x, it can be written as a to the negative x. So these and these are the same. Now, for example, if we are to evaluate a question, for instance, I said a to the negative 4, it becomes what? It becomes 1 over a to the what? Positive power 4, which is this. So this is how we solve questions when giving a negative index. In my next video, I'll be looking at questions on these laws. Now, the next law is called the fractional power law. For instance, I have a fractional power. This is the base. Now, this is the power, a fractional power. This x in fraction is the numerator, while the y is the denominator. Now, how do we evaluate this kind of question? The first thing you do here is to raise the base to the numerator, which is this. So you raise the base to the numerator, then the denominator becomes what? The square root of the base. So this is how we resolve a base having a fractional power. So this is called the fractional power laws of indexes. What about when you are given a negative fraction as the index? For instance, look at this. This is my base, but 
now I have a negative fraction. How do I solve this? How do I evaluate such a question? Now, before I go about this, I will want us to recall negative index law, which states that for such a question, the negative sign becomes what? 1 over. Then the power becomes positive. So, now let's come back to this. So, to solve this, first thing I do is to take up the minus sign, so it becomes what? 1 over. So the power becomes positive. We have the base raised to what? Positive S over Y. Now we can still evaluate this further. What do we do? Becomes 1 over. As I was saying just now, when you are when a base is raised to a fraction. The base carries the numerator, which is this. Then the denominator becomes the root of that power and base. All right. So this is how we evaluate a base with a negative fraction. Now, I will show us something which I call the index of zero is very simple it states that if i have a base with an zero as the power it is equal to one that is this is the law of indices that anything raised to power zero gives us one now i know some of us might be wondering why is it one in this video I will show us why anything raised to power zero is one now let's show that a to the power zero is one now if you recall that a divided by a is one is that true good now, when you divide numbers by itself, it gives us 1. Now, this a divided by a is same as saying a to power 1 over a to power 1. This is the same as this because anything raised to power 1 gives us same. So a to the power 1 is a. Now equal to 1. Also now if we recall the division law, it says that when we are dividing numbers of the same, what do we do? We subtract the powers. So I can, I can use this law to evaluate the left hand side here. So I have a to the power 1 minus 1. Alright, equal to 1. So what is 1 minus 1 is 0. So we now have a to the power 0 equal to what? 1. So this is how we show that any number raised to power zero must be equal to one and these laws are very useful when we are solving mathematical questions and even in your sciences before i end this video i want to give a summary of the laws of indices which we have shown us briefly in this video the first law was the multiplication law where if you have same base and you are to multiply all we have to do is to take one of the base and we add the powers this is called multiplication law 
The next one is the division law. If we have the same base and we are dividing, all we have to do is to take one of the base, which is this, then we subtract the powers. This is called division law. And please note that these laws only work if the base are the same. As you can see here, the base must be the same. The next one is called the power in a bracket. If you are asked to evaluate a question in this format, all we do is to multiply the powers outside times the power inside the bracket. This is called power in a bracket law. The next is called the negative index law. If we are if we are asked to evaluate a number with a negative power, the first thing you do is to make the negative sign one over, then the base becomes raised to a positive power. Next one is called the fractional power law. When a base is raised to a fraction, the first thing you do here is to carry the base raised to the numerator and you find the square root of these using the denominator. This is called the fractional law of indices. And the last one I showed us just now was called the uh, zero index. I said that anything raised to power zero is one. These laws are very, very important in our, in our math, physics, chemistry, in engineering, and in our next videos, I'll be, I'll be showing us how to apply these six powerful laws in solving questions. So please, next week, subscribe and share this video to watch more of Matt's videos. If you like the video, please subscribe, share with your friends, share with those in high school and those in uh, lower grades to help them out with their math. And if you have any question or topic in math which you want us to, to discuss right here, feel free to leave your comment below in the comment box and I shall respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.